sizes in, in Israel or Jewish life today who is like the prophet Deborah and that she she develops influence through her learning, her, her fear of God, her, her wisdom, through her inspirational qualities, doesn't mean she's a rabbi of the synagogue or that she has any official position. She may just sit at home and study all day and people may come to her to, to get her, her, her wisdom. So it's not an official title and she may not even you know, leave the house except to go to the mikvah. I'm done. Okay. The ne <laughs> number five, the fifth question that people often ask are, other qu speaking about Devorah, other commentators say that Devorah was like a king. Mm -hmm. Like a king. And she was able to what's called exercise authority, Sarara. She was, uh, she exercised her authority. Now, uh, notwithstanding her being a woman, because the people accepted her. So the thing was that she, she was able to have her authority because people were okay with it. Now, in other words, women are forbidden to exercise this authority over men only when their audience isn't okay with it, when the community is insulted, or the men are insulted by a woman having authority over them. And therefore, if a, theoretically, based on that, that today, if a rabbi was a woman and the men were okay with it, she could be the leader of the community, right? Yeah. Answer, no. Because that still only deals with one of the pro only one of the problems of women rabbis that I mentioned. The others would still seem to be issues. Mm -hmm. What about the fact of the sneeze issue? Right? What about that? They're still having problems. It, you you can get around maybe one, maybe she's you know, but she still may not be. You know, it's just like there's four problems on the on the table, right? There's the sneeze. There's the 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 power issue of the of the kingship. You know, there's, um, uh, you know, so how are you going to get around all four? She's not going to be able to do it. She probably doesn't have the years of learning, right? Are you following? Yeah. Okay. So it's, but you still got, it doesn't, it's, it's a half of an answer. Number six, Rambam also says that you mentioned the converts are limited from holding positions of power over, uh, over born Jews, correct? Yeah. And they can't serve on a base din against people who are born Jewish. Yet, we see that nowadays that doesn't stop Garam from becoming rabbis. Right? I even had a Rosh Hashiva one time who I believe was a Gare. Then now there may be arguments that they shouldn't become rabbis, but they still do become rabbis. Okay. So watch this. Watch this argument. Mm -hmm. The argument is that just as a gear, as a convert, can become a rabbi, even though the Rambam says no, so too a woman could theoretically become a rabbi, even though the Rambam says no. Good, good question. So what's the answer? I don't know. The answer is Rosh Hashivas and Rabbeim. Like I had a Rosh Hashiva who was a gear, mm -hmm. and and rabbis who are in the base medrash. Mm -hmm. They're not community leaders. They're not community leaders. They're just teachers. That's all they are. So the Rambam isn't applicable there. Because mm -hmm. the Rambam says you can't appoint a woman to be a community leader, right? A mm -hmm. non-Jew, not a non-Jew, a, a convert is, can't be a community rabbi. They could theoretically be a teacher, yeah. but they're not going to be able to, still not going to be able to sit on a base then. They're yeah. still not going to be like, I'm the Rav of this yeah. high ear. You know, I'm the Rav of Pico Robertson. It can't be a gear. Right. Right? Now, uh, uh, I don't, now, if someone's going to say, well, I know, before you get excited and say, I know a gear, and I, I wouldn't know. But if somebody knows, like, I know the gear of a certain town, and he's the rabbi of the town, I don't want to know who it is, okay? Because <laughs> I'm not, certainly don't want to pass judgment on anyone particular uh, without knowing the specifics. It's not my business, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you general, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You okay with that one? Yeah. And the last one is number seven, based on number six. People say, well, what about Avaja the prophet? Now, if you know about Avaja, not Avaja Yosef, who we spoke about, but who right. was named after, was uh, Avaja the prophet. He was a didn't, gear. And didn't he marry a hooker? No, that was Hosea, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Well, uh, I know that um, not Yeshua. Hosea. Uh, not Yeshua, no, Rachav married uh, Caleb, I think, or somebody? Yeah, but Hosea married a hooker. Okay, God told him to, because felt that Israel had been unfaithful to him, so he said, All right. get married an unfaithful woman and All see right. what I'm feeling. Okay. Ovadja was a gear. 
Mm -hmm. So people say, hey, doesn't being a prophet count as being a leader? Yeah. And you see that Agar was a, 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 a was a prophet there and Agar was a leader, so therefore just as Agar can be a leader, so too a woman can be a leader. The answer is no, prophets are not the type of leader that be a prophet. Huh. And that is it, my friends. And I'm going to post these up on my Facebook. I'll, I'll write a note, and I'll put the uh, the whole vort, the whole uh, my whole explanation with the seven frequently asked questions and their answers. And I'll put it, make it available. So if you add me on Facebook, you can see it. And I'll just call it like you know, like women, the the oxymoron of women rabbis. And that's basically it. It's it, it, as far as I'm concerned, this is irrefutable. There's really no excuse. You know, anybody in the in the from world today who even has a Havamina that you can make a woman rabbi, it really needs to study this because there's no answer to this. People should listen closely right now because it's very rare that Rab says that something's irrefutable or he takes a strong position. No, I hardly ever do. I'm rabbi Rab is very, very like, waffly. well on the one hand I see this and on the other hand I see this and I don't want to say anything that could upset people. So you know here in this position that, that, that Rabbi Rab says that thinks it's pretty clear that this is actually a very <laughs> monumental uh, moment in the history of Torah talk. You should treasure it for a rare time when Rabbi Rabs has spoken out on something controversial. 7.43, 68 degrees in Pico Robertson. Traffic still heavy on Pico Boulevard as we approach Robertson Boulevard. And uh, coming up in the show later tonight, we have the Ten Commandments <laughs> for Chabad Jews. We also have two, not just one, but two Torah portions two scoops. to discuss. We've Double got, dip. We've got my love life. And uh, How is that going, by the way? What's happening in your love life? Nothing. <laughs> what happened on fr last week? We did, for those who didn't pay in last week, we examined that Levy just opened up a brand new... Uh, account uh, on Frimster. A Frimster account. Oh. Looking for a wife. What's your, what's your name on... Uh, uh, Luke what? Ford. That's boring. Why don't you come up with something like, you know, Mr. Love or something <laughs> like that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, porn guy for Moses. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's good. I like that. So, um, so what, what's happening over there? Ha have you stopped? Have you tried my... Last week I said to him, like I said, stop with the... Um, what do they call those things when you like it? Icebreakers. Icebreakers. Just you, wait and check would say, would, which, which is basically cold calling. It's like, you know, some woman that... You know, never heard of him before. We'll we'll get a, a message and it'll be like you know, Luke Ford has sent you an email and it's yeah. just like you know it's well with the other sixty five thousand men it's like in yeah. there and the other ones are like hi I like your profile <laughs> like can we meet for coffee brunch. or brunch you know and and he's gonna be in there just can like we have a to felon date you know yeah and he's gonna be in there going like heavy breathing on you know writing <laughs> you know and 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 I'm just thinking this is this is lose. This is this is fail, right? So I said to him, let's try something else, a different, a different approach, right? Pay attention to the women who are checking you out because there's yeah, a page yeah. that says who's seen you, and and those are the ones you want to focus on, you know? Because God is going to send some women your way. They're going to pay some interest into you, and those are the ones you can talk to. And they've already taken the initiative. They've already examined you. you can go, hey baby, what you see anything you like, you know? And you can play it that. So what happened with that? Well, the only people who are checking me out are in their forties. What's wrong with that? I want, I want the younger stuff. Last week, you we had the opposite argument. Last week, you said twenty-five to forty-five, right? Am I wrong here? Someone just I had to ban seventeen. He said, "Bernadette, you got big tits." So I just banned him. Oh boy. So go ahead. The opposite argument. So you think uh, last week you said it was you. You had your profile that you were looking for women from twenty-five to eight to, to forty-five. Yeah. And and I said, why don't you open it up a little more, right? Yeah, yeah. So now a woman came who was in that small target range, and you're saying, well, that's not what I want. <laughs> so there's no pleasing you, right? And now you're saying, well, I want something younger. So so then so then not only were you wrong for having a small age range, but it was a small age range that you don't even agree with. Yeah. Is that what we discovered? Yeah. Because when God sent you something in that range, you don't like it. So what do you want your age range to be? 20? 18 to... 25. No, I think That's where I, I, hang out. I hang out in the 18 to 25 department. I, but I don't want to sound like a pig, so I make it 25 to 45, but I really like someone... Why didn't you, okay, so do my suggestion and just open up, did you open up the age range and just go 18 to 